The announcement has come that Tim Zhu will finally get an opportunity to fight for the interim WBO title as Jamel Charlo heals from his broken hand and the opponent will be Tony Harrison. Let's talk about this collision of contenders. Upcoming battle between Tim Zhu and Tony Harrison that will be staged for the WBO Interim World Welterweight Super Welterweight Championship on Sunday, March 12th from Australia is a fight that many people are looking at as a step up fight for Tim Zhu and an opportunity of the golden sort for Tony Harrison. It is interesting that Zhu, who had been waiting for the opportunity to challenge undisputed champion Jermel Charlo for one of the titles, decided to take this fight instead of just continuing to wait around until Charlo heals up from the injury that he sustained in training for their original scheduled bout in January. In stepped Tony Harrison, who relished the opportunity to come in as a world title challenger and a former world champion, seeing this as a quick and fast track way to get back at Jamel Charlo, whom he's faced twice already. Zhu, who really hasn't fought the upper echelon in the division yet, in facing Harrison is coming across the first opportunity for a world-class fighter. The son of boxing legend Costa Zhu is going to see himself competing against Tony Harrison bringing his record of 21 and 0 with 15 KOs into the opportunity. At the age of 28, he's an orthodox fighter who stands 5'8 and a half with a 72 inch reach. And over his last few fights, the only real notable names there would be Jeff Horn, Dennis Hogan, and Terrell Goucher. But those fighters are not the type of fighters or fight experience that will prepare him for the likes of a Tony Harris. And this is where things get very, very interesting because if he has yet to have that type of experience, knowing that he was gonna go in against Charlo, it raises a lot of questions. But Harrison, who has faced Charlo twice, once in December of 2018, scoring a unanimous decision over Charlo, only to follow up a year later in December of 2019 and suffering a KO loss late in the fight against Charlo. Harrison, a boxer by nature, who packs a solid punch, but he's more of a guy who wants to be safe than to take risk in the ring. And his record now of 29 and three with one draw and 21 KOs proves that he's a heady fighter with as many knockouts as Zhu has fights. What we're seeing here is the taller Harrison who's 6'1", 
with the 76 and a half inch reach has often been a more calculating fighter but he has a tendency to have setbacks of focus in his matches that could play into Tim Zhu's opportunity here in this fight the two men have offsetting styles Zhu being a pursuing puncher one who looks to get his opponents in trouble he sets them up with fierce body shots and power shots working trying to get from mid-range he's not an excellent boxer by any means he hasn't even shown great footwork in the fight and in his fight against Goucher found himself on the canvas early in the fight it could have been just a miscue but I'm thinking that there's more to that than what people really realize he's had no step up matches in his opportunities it's only be been he beating up on guys in the division that he can pad the record with stoppages and gain round experience but no real fight experience Harrison is going to be the first real challenge and because Harrison is a former world champion and has faced the current undisputed champion twice both fights going deep we're going to see whether this is actually a 50-50 fight or not for Tim Zhu. I'm thinking that it will parlay into it being a 50-50 fight and it's because of the shortcomings I mentioned about Harrison earlier. Harrison is the fighter that will sometimes lose focus. He likes to show bravado in the ring he kind of plays with his food a little bit and he really needs to dial it in in this particular fight because he's fighting out of the country and he's fighting in Zhu's hometown. So the focus needs to be there where he can be aware of the judges are not going to be in his pocket and it doesn't matter how great a boxer he is, this golden opportunity for him is supposed to show where his skills will override the circumstances if he is not prepared to remain focused in this fight he's going to run into some problems now there are other things to consider in a fight like this intangibles that people do not often think about head clashes cuts things of that nature that can impede a fighter Harrison, who has done a great job training Alicia Bumgarner and working in the gym with Clarissa Shields, he's going to have to have that same type of focus that he coached up with these women who are prime champions in the sport. He's got to remember those qualities for himself, and those are the type of intangibles that he's going to have to buckle down and secure his laurels. Will he be able to do that? It remains to be seen. But this is a very interesting fight between a pure boxer and a guy who is a plotting puncher. I believe Harrison can pull this out, but if he doesn't remain the focused fighter that we're talking about, he could run into difficulty. Being on foreign soil should make him dial it in and I want to see him be successful. These are my thoughts. What do you think? This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know how you think this is gonna play out. Will Harrison be able to put himself in position to meet Charlo for a third time or no? Peace to everyone out there and everyone remain safe.